Weight cut is one of the biggest problems in combat sports, and it comes with a host of health problems, from severe dehydration to liver shutdown. Today, we will be looking at the top five most insane weight cuts in MMA and how they affected the fight. It's not difficult to see why fighters cut a lot of weight. It allows them to be bigger and stronger than their opponents inside the octagon. Most UFC champions have been considered big for their weight class and has given them the advantages needed to win UFC belt. It's not always so simple, however, with many fighters being left depleted or even hospitalized as a result of a weight cut gone wrong. If we missed a fighter who you think had a more dangerous weight cut, be sure to comment below. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 5. Yoro Romero, UFC 225. Yoro Romero, otherwise known as the Soldier of God, is the number 4 ranked contender in the middleweight division and is best known for ruthless knockout power and his two wars with former champion Robert Whittaker. In his second matchup with Whitaker at UFC 225, Romero looked gaunt and ghost-like on the scale. He initially missed weight by one pound, and on his second attempt, Romero struggled to even walk to his hotel room. A scary sight for all MMA fans. Romero also missed weight in his second attempt coming in at 185.2 pounds, just 0.2 pounds over the required weight. The commission stepped in and prevented the severely depleted Romero from continuing the cut and stripping him of his chances to win the middleweight title. Yoel has expressed a desire to compete in the light heavyweight and many fans agree that would be a good idea as at the age of 42, the weight cut is only going to get harder. How many years? Number 4, Khabib Nurmagomedov, UFC 209. It is no secret that UFC lightweight champion Habib Nurmagomedov gets big outside the fight camp with trainers with training partners mentioning that the Dagestani can get as big as 190 pounds. At UFC 209, Habib was scheduled to take on Tony Ferguson in what has now become the most cursed matchup in MMA history. Hours away. Whoa. On the morning of the weigh-in, the Eagle was rushed to the hospital after suffering dehydration and intense liver pain, and the fight had to be scrapped. This was not the first time Numagomedov has had troubles with his weight, having missed weight once previously at UFC 160. However, it appears the wrestler has made the necessary adjustments to his nutrition and weight cut. Habib has not missed weight since and has looked a lot healthier on the scale. Still, the hospitalization has many fans worried every time he steps on the scale. Send me a message like location, location, I'm gonna come. Number 3. Darren Till, UFC Fight Night 130. Darren Till is a huge fighter. His coaches and teammates estimate when out of camp, he walks around at 210 pounds. A large out of camp weight for a middleweight fighter, let alone when he was competing at welterweight. It's no secret that the gorilla suffered his fair share of dangerous cuts on his way down to 170 pounds. But it was nowhere more apparent than during his fight at UFC Fight Night 130 against the dangerous karate striker, Stefan Thompson. Till missed weight by 3.5 pounds, but not before footage leaked of the Liverpool native going temporarily blind while trying to shed the pounds. The footage showed a miserable till under piles of blankets to help sweat out the necessary water weight and was a graphic reminder of the insane nature of weight cuts. Number 2 Conor McGregor, UFC 194. When Conor McGregor stormed his way up the featherweight rankings on his journey to winning his first world title, fans were constantly reminded of just how dangerous extreme weight cutting is, with a grossly depleted and malnourished McGregor stepping on the scales time and time again. 
no more was this more apparent than his title fight against Jose Aldo at UFC 194. With Aldo himself suffering from a huge weight cut, it was in no way comparable to the notorious one. McGregor was bone thin and appeared fragile as he stepped on the scale, screaming at the camera with a haunting example of just how far these athletes are willing to go to obtain the advantage. Looking back, it is an even crazier weight cut knowing the success Conor has had at both lightweight and welterweight, with most fans agreeing that it would not be healthy for McGregor to return to 145. If you like our videos, consider subscribing to our Instagram channel for daily motivation. Number 1. TJ Dillashaw, UFC Fight Night 143. At number one, it is without a doubt TJ Dillashaw. After the two-time UFC world champion defended his belt against former rival Cody Garbrandt via TKO, he embraced the challenge of obtaining a second world title at flyweight against the newly crowned Henry Cejudo. Many experts and fans doubted TJ's chances of even making the required weight of 125, as Dillashaw was already shredded for all of his fights at bantamweight. But to the amazement of all, TJ was able to make 125 pounds, albeit looking like a man who had been marooned on an island for two months. Despite making the weight, it did not take Cejudo long to secure a controversial stoppage of Dillashaw in the first round of their bout. Many were in agreement that the insanely dangerous weight cut was to blame for TJ's performance who didn't look anywhere near as sharp as he did in his spectacular previous fights at bantamweight. With Dillashaw announcing his return to bantamweight for his next fight, a wise decision to be sure. A lot of fans around the world are waiting for his return. Mm, this makes me happy. Did we miss any huge weight cuts? Let us know in the comment section below. We worked hard to deliver high quality content to you. Support us by clicking thumbs up, subscribing, and pressing the bell button to get a notification for our latest videos.